Singapore guys yeah I've spent almost two weeks in Egypt and I'm finally back in Singapore with rain yep I've not experienced rain for the last two weeks because it did not rain at all in Egypt but finally I'm back to do a video for you guys as today we are gonna challenge each of the team go rocket leaders to take them down using only one Pokemon each all right so hi hi to all of you guys so yeah, let me go ahead, go ahead and bring my screen up and you guys can see there's already Arlo and Cleef waiting for us. I've already bought three rocket radars and we're going to battle Arlo first. Alright, so um, yeah, um, we have actually just made our way back to Singapore last night, Princess and I, with my family. And uh, she's still at the accommodation, as in Princess is still at the accommodation uh, preparing herself because we are going out later on. So this is the team I'll be using, just one hit rank, the other two uh, Pokemon just use CP10. Um, I guess a shiny Pokemon, alright. <laughs> Uh huh. So I've got a bit of bad news though. Yeah, um, I and Princess managed to get back, and also her luggage managed to get back to Singapore. But my luggage is still in Cairo, so I uh, didn't have really uh, much clothes. I even had to uh, get more clothes from. Yep, I place, and uh, now finally we are back. So uh, anyway, let's see if we can actually take this out relatively easily. But the problem is the Mawao is actually using something that's doing a lot of damage to my hit ran. Alright, it's using power up punch. Let's go ahead to see if we can actually store some time. Let's go ahead with that. Yeah, that is not good, man. Ouch. So uh, that's hurting a lot. Is it running fire fang? I did not see the fast move though, but it's doing so much damage to us. We have just burned the very first shield. Alright, we're going to take out the Mawao. Great, now we have a lot of energy. Alright, so uh, the next Pokemon is Charizard. I just hope the Charizard actually has a... F okay, good. Yep, it has a uh, flying type fast move. That's what we need as Slash. Great. Okay, we no, don't have to slide this at all. Now, we have to farm out a little bit more energy. And then after that, we can do a Flamethrower on the next Pokemon also. But the S Slash is still doing a lot of damage. So just let's just take out the Charizard first. Alright, all right. maybe let's get it to great. And see if we can farm it down with... Uh, Farm it down with our... Okay, great. It, 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 took out, it took out the Charizard totally. So now we have to take out the Seesaw. Hopefully the Seesaw is like running a Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter, please. Fury Cutter, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so close. That was so close. We were just one fast move away from being taken out. But yeah, we managed to uh, take out the um, Seesaw using only one Pokemon. And great. We still got two more leaders to go after. And that's Cliff and Sierra. So since Cliff is here, we can go ahead to battle him straight away. I've not gotten any of the new uh, shiny shadow Pokemon yet, other than for, I believe, Mawao, because uh, that's an old one already. So I'm still trying to hunt for them, and I didn't have the time to actually hunt for them when I was in uh, Egypt. So hence why I'm making this video, and also kind of excited to fight Team Go Rocket leaders again. Alright, we are done. We caught that. Let's go ahead to tap on Cliff now. Hello, Cliff. Hello, Cliff. So Cliff, team... So something is really wrong man maybe it's the raindrop that caused um thing to happen yeah it rained actually just now so it was just 15 minutes ago they actually set up my camera everything already and i was supposed to start the video i forgot to change to cp10 pokemon but it's okay we're just going to use one pokemon i'm not going to switch at all and then it started pouring really really heavily so um i had to seek shelter now came back out again to actually um do this video for you guys hopefully we can find sierra in time so let's go ahead to um See that we're going to have to use our shield against whatever that comes in from the charge moves. Uh, Mewtwo Side Strike is just going to do a lot of damage against his entire team. But of course, having Focus Blast is also good because his last Pokemon potentially could be Tyranita, which uh, then it's going to resist Psychic and also the Shadow Ball, which is a Ghost-type charge move, right? So we're going to burn the first shield. Alright, let's see how things goes. Alright, great, great. We're going to have to farm down the um, Machop also though. So we're going to farm down the Machop after we actually burn the last shoe all right great yeah see my hair is so wet and everything also my god yeah thanks to the rain yeah and that's what i do for pokemon go content for you guys just run in the rain and whatsoever all right we're gonna shield up against this otherwise it's gonna do a lot of damage to us okay great uh, okay okay break break check i farm up more energy though but it's okay not to worry let's see how things go let's see what's the next pokemon it is a bug type Pokemon and that is Pinsir. Alright, he could actually use a Crobat or in fact a Mongoose, which both are also weak to Psychic, so hence why using Mewtwo is a very good option. But using uh, you know this against Pinsir is also good. As we can see that we are doing a lot of damage. We're gonna farm a little bit more energy. Okay, great. So the Tyranita, we do not want to see it having bite because if it has bite, it's gonna take out our Mewtwo super duper quickly. 
So let's just pray it does not have bite, alright? But it's okay, our focus blast is almost ready, alright? We can get to focus blast definitely before we get taken out by those bites and one focus blast is going to be enough to knock out the Tyranita since it is double weak to fighting. Great. Alright, we took it out, excellent. And uh, it's down. Now let's see if we can get ourselves a shiny shadow Machop or not. I've not gotten it yet, I've seen a lot of people getting it. But um, I've been so unlucky that I've not even gotten that yet. So uh, let's try it out. It's been a month though since uh, the leaders actually had their um, Pokemon changed. So um, kind of unfortunate that I'm unable to get it at all. I, I mean, I've been fighting the rocket balloons every day and in hopes of getting but I don't buy the radars at all unless I need to make content like now. Alright, we caught the Machop and we're going to have to look for another uh, leader. Excuse me. Alright, great. So we're going to walk towards, uh, I guess, the direction to see whether any of those five up north are Sierra or not. And then uh, if it is, we will fight together. Otherwise, uh, goodbye. Oh, we made our way to another spot, guys. And I'm sitting down here on the wet staircase. Yep, my butt is wet. But here we are. We are next to Sierra already. We found Sierra. We're going to go ahead to battle her. Uh, very nice picture of kids jumping into the water. So. Yep, so uh, let's go ahead to fight her. And the Pokemon I'm going to be using is actually Scrafty. You guys will be surprised at how good Scrafty is against her entire team. Especially even against... The Snorlax, uh, Shadow Snorlax team from the Team Rocket Grunt. Alright, so you guys can see I'm going to use uh, just only one Pokemon, Scrafty, to actually uh, beat her entire team. Alright, great, great, great. We're just going to do that. Okay, we're going to go ahead with our very first power-up punch. Actually, we should just use our very first power-up punch as soon as we can so that we actually build up our damage also. Alright, so we're going to use the second one immediately after we can. Great. Okay, not to worry, man. The... Uh, Sable I want to use is charge move, great, we're gonna go ahead with another three counters before we use our power up punch again. We're gonna resist all the moves anyway, one, two, three, okay, with power up punch, great, one shadow claw. Okay, I'm gonna let this go through again, looking at the surrounding, it's so nice around me man, so nice to be back to Singapore also. Kind of miss Singapore a bit though, especially after being away for like quite a while already. Although I actually was in Singapore before the trip to Egypt, but I didn't have the time to like look around and like appreciate Singapore because it's just too busy with the safari zone. So, oh yeah, I forgot to slide also. See, see, see? That's what happens when you actually uh, get too um, preoccupied with whatever that's surrounding you. But it's okay, let's go ahead to um, do this. Alright, we're gonna take down the uh, Sable Eye. Have a lot of energy for the next two Pokemon. In fact, let's see what we can do. Let's see what's the next Pokemon. Her last Pokemon could potentially be Snorlax. Alright, which is going to be a bit of a problem for us. Okay, it's Flygon. Let's go ahead with Power Up Punch again to build up our energy. Alright, uh, Flygon is pretty glassy, so you'll go down very, very easily. Yes, I would say so. Alright, the counters are going to do a lot of damage. We're going to do another Power Up Punch. Alright, the Dragon Tail's damage when uh, has, uh, animation has gone through, but the damage did not go through. Uh, the, 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 the match. Alright, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm talking. One, two. Alright, great. Let's go with that. Alright, so this should be enough to take out the Flygon already. After doing this, we can do a few more counters to take out the Flygon. And you'll be gone forever. Okay, come on, let's take out the Flygon without any damage, please. Okay, great. It's out. Now, we have the last Pokemon, and that is going to be a Cradelli. Alright, so Cradelli, we can just use Power Up Punch all the way, man. See, this is how good uh, Scrafty is. Even if it's Snorlax, you just need to Power Up Punch, Power Up Punch, Power Up Punch all the way. And uh, yeah, you just use one Pokemon to take out the entire team, and it's just so easy. Alright, you guys know what? Let's just go with the next power up punch. Actually, you know what? Foul play might be might already be enough to take it out. Okay, I've just gone with that and that would have totally knocked out the uh, Cradelli. But it's okay, let's just take it slow and easy. Just two more counters and it should be done. Great. See? One Scrafty is enough. That's why I like to use Scrafty a lot. But to get a level 50 Scrafty is not that easy because uh, you have to uh, get them from the 12km eggs to get the Candy XL. Otherwise, it's very tough to get the Candy XL. Alright, so we actually uh, defeated Sierra already. Let's go ahead and see if we get ourselves a Shiny Shadow Sable Eye. Nope. The grind still continues. I'll still try and hunt for them. Hopefully, I'll, you know, we can get it in the next few days before I leave Singapore because I'll be here for roughly two weeks before I fly back to the Philippines with Princess to celebrate Christmas and New Year with her family. Alright, so uh, that is all that I have to show to you guys in this video, man. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys did, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. We much appreciated. Thank you very much. And let me know in the comment section down below, have you guys tried using only one Pokemon to defeat the Team Go Rocket leaders? It's really fun to do so. And in fact, for Giovanni also, it's possible to do it if you actually have a Lucario to take out the entire team. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!